Alan Moulton here with HD Helicopters Germany, Superstition Hobbies Arizona. Today we're going to give you a little tech tip on the HD Cell 500 belt tension. A lot of people have questions about it. How tight should it be? How loose should it be? Why am I having trouble adjusting it? Very simple little tricks to get in there and adjust it. So let's get started. On the HD Cell you have two plates that have to be dealt with. You have the motor plate itself and you have your ESC plate which also houses your counter bearing. Those two plates you want to adjust independently of each other but together. And when I say that I mean you want them to be parallel so everything rides true but you have to adjust them separately. There's no way around that. You have to do it. I always start with the motor plate. As you can see this one's left loose. Um, see the motor moves a little bit. Belt a little bit loose. What we're going to do is we're going to start with my little trick, and that is a handy dandy little flathead screwdriver. A lot of people don't like this. You've got to be careful because you can over tighten the belt. What I will do is I will take, put this in either here or through the top, depending on how I, how, uh, how I can get in there. And for demonstration pur purposes, I'm going to show you here. What I do is I rotate it, and you can see how the motor mount moves. And you'll also see that it kind of lifts up in the back. That's okay. I don't really care about that just yet. So we'll push it forward. I'm going to get a little belt tension here. Get it set for a second. And I'm going to tighten up just one of the front screws. And the reason I only do that is because I want to be able to slide this forward and have everything kind of rotate in place without uh, loosening up all the rest of the bolts because if I tighten them all up now this will sit kind of cockeyed and the belt won't ride true. Um, now it's tighter here than it is here because we still haven't adjusted the bottom. From here we're going to rotate the helicopter up upside down. Do not use any tool to pull on this. If you stick a tool in here you're going to damage one of, the, one of the pulleys whether it be the tail pulley or the primary pulley you don't want to do that. So this has all got to be done by hand. This is where it gets a little tricky. What I'll do is obviously I've got all the screws loose. I'll take reach in here and kind of pry forward using my hands. And sometimes I'll get in here a little bit and I'll cheat with the screw just to get a little more movement out of it. Feel the tension. Get it to where I want it. Set one screw. Belt tension feels pretty good. Now we're going to want to go ahead and rotate the assembly to make sure that the belt isn't riding too high or too low. So we'll rotate it a couple of times. If you notice it's still riding down on the bottom. That means that the belt or the motor shaft angle is sitting like this because it's allowing the belt to come down. We want to get it to kind of float in between. It'll never be perfect. It'll always tend to be one side or the other, but we want to get it as close as possible so the tension is equal here and everything in the motor shaft is running parallel to the main shaft. So from here, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to hold the motor forward, but I know the motor can come back a little bit. So I just barely loosened that screw a little bit, felt the motor move. Now we're going to rotate it again, feel the tension, tension still feels good, actually feels a little light on the bottom to me though, a little, little snug on top, so I'm actually going to let the motor come back a little bit, and that's why you just got to be patient with it, play a little bit. Now I saw the motor mount slide down, now I've got a little tiny gap in the bottom, belt tension feels really good all the way across, belt came up. Now I know it's riding really, really straight. Go through, tighten the rest of the screws, you're good to go. No more need to worry about that until you get a few flights on it and check it. Now to verify the belt tension is correct, let me rotate this to get the words over here so you can see a little better. This is your simplest two and a half to three millimeter gauge. This is two and a half, this is three millimeters. Everybody has one. You'll set your belt up here. And without using a ton of force, you don't want to try to push the belt through to the other side because that's too much. You'll, you'll set the, your uh, piece in here, 
and with just a, a moderate amount of pressure, you'll see that I'm moving about two and a half millimeters. Two and a half, three millimeters, I'm happy. Helicopter's happy, you're not over tightened, you're not too loose, you're not gonna have any belt issues. Um, from here, we move to the tail. Tail's very simple. We check the tension at the very back. This one is set up for more of a sport flyer. It is set up for not hard 3D. Hard 3D, run a little more tension on the belt. Lighter 3D, uh, sport flying, you can leave the belt a little bit looser. Runs a little more efficiently. You can, you know, if you're just doing orientation practice or things like that, a lot of uh, what we'll do is we'll loosen everything up so it can get a little better flight times. But as you can see, I can actually push this all the way down to the crossbar. I'm having to push quite a bit. That's okay because nothing here is going to turn and slip. So we're happy with that. All of the actual setup when you're building the helicopter, when you set up the tail boom, is one of the most important things is to make sure that all your linkages are orthogonal, 90 degrees, so that everything can work together well and not have any tail issues, not have any bias to the left or to the right that you shouldn't have. Down here, this plate here slides on a couple of what we call slides. Houses a couple of pulleys that the belt is guided through. And you'll see one Allen screw, two on screws. To adjust this belt, if it's too loose, we need to move this plate forward. So we'll loosen those two screws, slide the plate forward, making sure that everything's clear here, checking the tension at the back of the helicopter. Again, if, if you have it too tight, you're gonna end up with some harmonics, some vibrations. Uh, if you have it too loose, it can slip and you can lose some tail authority. So find that happy spot, and depending on your flying style, uh, everything will kind of come into play there. Once you set all your, your tensions, you put the slide forward or back, whatever you need to do, tighten those two set screws, you're done. Go flying. That is belt tensioning 101 on the HD Cell 500. If you found this tech tip helpful, please push the like button. Uh, we ask that you subscribe to our channel for future updates and uh, future news coming down the pipe. I do want to thank Jans and my guys out in Germany for the unprecedented support uh, in this venture uh, with HD. They take care of us and the team and we believe in the product and we believe that this is going to be the future of uh, RC Helis. So again, thank you for watching. Thanks Jans, we appreciate it. We'll see you soon and uh, fly safe.